Hi students, my today's uh, topic permutation combination. This is the lesson number seven of ten plus one classes. So let us start permutation. So we start after some de we write down some definition. First we factorial notation. Factorial notation. So we write down. Zero factorial. Factorial can be write down this sign or also this sign. So we can use this sign here. Zero factorial. We are taking this is the axioms. We are taking one equal to one. One factorial means one, and two factorial means two into one. Three factorial means three into two into one. Four factorial means four into 3 into 2 into 1 5 factorial means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 students look here we are taking number and preceding to it also we write down here uh, 3 factorial this is the 3 into 2 factorial and 4 factorial 4 into 3 factorial also write down 4 into 3 into 2 factorial 5 can be write down 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 also 5 into 4 factorial also write down 5 into 4 into 3 factorial also write down 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 factorial so this is the same as i uh, uh, we are taking n factorial so write down n and preceding term that is n minus 1 and multiplication also preceding term n minus 2 Also proceeding term n minus three, or we are taking factorial sign here. So we also write down n factorial equal to n into n minus one factorial. Also we write down n into n minus one into n minus two factorial, and also write down to this. Also we write down n n minus one, n minus two, and so on. Last we three into two into one with a factorial notation. So we tell us about the factorial notation and write down the definition of permutation. First, we taking the exercise first, then we proceed to it. So we are taking exercise seven point one, and its notation should be used. So permutation. Permutation. If permutation is an arrangement, arrangement in definite order of a number of object. Taken when some or all at a time. This is the definition of permutations. So we write down permutation represented by P, or also we can say N P R. N be the total number of objects R at a time. So, formula of NPR becomes equal to n factorial and n minus r factorial. Also, should be used this formula. And combination. A combination. is a selection of some or all of a number all of a number of different objects different objects
difference between the permutation combination the difference between the permutation combination of the object is the order does not matter in permutation while it is does not matter in case of the combination then formula of n c r c for the combination that is n factorial r factorial and n minus r factorial so you write down both formulas permutation and combinations also we are taking exercise 7.1 Exercise seven point one. We taking question number first. How many three digits number? That is the one, two, and three digits. Number can be found from the digits one, two. We are taking one, two, three, four, and five numbers. So repetition first. We are taking repetition. We will allow repetition allowed allowed. Second repetition not allowed. So repetition will be allowed here. So we write down here. Uh, we can use the five digits and five also here and five also here. Five raised to the power three also one twenty. Five ways to find to return the three digits number. Uh, repetition not allowed. We are taking five choice here. But we are taking one digit only, so remaining choice becomes the four, and remaining choice becomes the three. That is sixty ways. So we get an answers. At last, we have some homework here, and try to exercise seven point one. If any problems, you contact me. So we are given some questions. Exercise seven point one also we you take and. Also, given homework, find five factorial plus six factorial. That is question number one. Question number two, five factorial plus five factorial plus five factorial. Find its value. Question number three. We are taking nine p three. Find it its value. And question number four, five c two plus five p two. Find its value. Its value. So try these questions also as well as exercise seven point one. If any problems, you contact me. Thanks a lot.